So David, can you just explain a little bit about um, Amphibian Arc and why you're backing it? Um, well, one should be concerned when any kind of animal is disappearing. But amphibians um, are particularly important, it seems to me, from many points of view, scientific, sentimental and practical. Uh, from a scientific point of view, this is, this is a whole category of animals. That's as uh, you suddenly to say, we're going to lose all birds of prey. Or we're going to lose uh, all monkeys. The idea that we can lose all frogs, and is that real possible? is really awful, I mean, to anybody who cares about the natural world. That's perhaps scientific and maybe even a sentimental point of view. But there are also practical reasons. Uh, amphibia uh, are the base, the foundation of many ecosystems. There are lots of things that live on frogs and on tadpoles, birds, reptiles, um, other things too, and some mammals. So that if, if they lose their food source, they're in danger. But not only that, the frogs themselves feed on smaller things, uh, on mosquito larvae, for example. Now, there are lots of different kinds of mosquitoes, um, and if there's nobody eating mosquito larvae, there are going to be a lot of those dots of different kinds. Uh, but some kinds, of course, carry malaria and other diseases. So if you're going to eliminate frogs, which looks to be a real possibility in some way, then there will be a corresponding increase in the number of mosquitoes. So when you touch complex ecosystems like that, you do something there, remove that particular link, and the effects can be found all over the place and are very difficult to predict. So David, what is the Year of the Frog campaign really about trying to do? Well, there's a, an imminent danger right now. Um, frogs are under pressure because of also habitat and because of global warming and so on, climate change. Uh, but the immediate danger is a fungus. Uh, it's called chytrid fungus. It infects the skin. Uh, frogs are particularly, and all amphibia, are particularly vulnerable because unlike reptiles or mammals which have watertight skins, they have permeable skins and they depend on their skins being moist because they actually breathe through their skins. Now that makes them very vulnerable to if there's an infection in the moisture in the water, then it can move into the to the frog of the amphibian. Um, and uh, this chytrid fungus in fact it grows and, and, and develops in the skin and clogs the skin to such a degree that the frog itself can't breathe, so in fact it suffocates, it dies of suffocation. Um, and we have no antidote to that. We don't really know how it's spreading or where it's going to spread to. But it has already spread. It probably originated in West Africa. Um, and now it has been found in Australia, in South America, um, and there's been cases here in, in Europe. Um, and so it's a very, very real danger. Very happily, unfortunately, it's quite possible to provide the circumstances to breed frogs in captivity in biologically safe environments quite easy to set it up. And what the, the Year of the Frog hopes to do is to persuade zoos around the world, of which there are 500 odd, uh, to take under their wing one of their local species, which is in danger, and maybe one or two others, and set up these situations so that we will have frogs in biologically safe circumstances, while the problem of the encountered frog is being worked upon, to see whether there are solutions, to see what happens spreading, to see how it's dealt with, may then be possible to release them in the world. But unless we take emergency action, we could be in for a catastrophe. And I understand, Sir David, that as part of the Amphibian Arc Year of the Frog campaign, there is a global petition uh, calling on uh, the governments and politicians and parliaments of the world to take this uh, threat of chytrid fungus and the decline of amphibians seriously. And uh, we'd be delighted if you could be one of the first people in the world to sign this petition. Thank you, sir. Thank you.